video we're going to install this uh, Thermal Right Silver Soul 110 white CPU cooler. And we're going to use uh, i3-13100F with this uh, Aris B760M Elite AX motherboard. Uh, before we get into it though, something I don't spend a lot of time on is, you know, just kind of... I want you guys to see what this really looks like fully assembled minus the CPU and the motherboard all right up close so of course we got the two towers on this thing we've got our fan and depending on how you put this in here folks there's a you know intake and exhaust side of the fan right so if you can see the frame which you can't hear um, you're looking at the intake side all right if you can see the frame that holds the uh, the fan hub or whatever uh, that's the exhaust side so the way this is oriented cool air would get sucked in through here and exhaust out this way all right now uh, down below we've got this back plate we've got four um, we'll call them special screws we've got uh, some blue washers and then we have these here spacers as well as two brackets all right all this stuff is tied together there are a lot of components here which you know um i hate to say it, a taller stack up if you guys are familiar with that could uh you know cause some issues with assembly but overall thermal right stuff's pretty good uh, it is chinese which you know not a huge fan of their stuff but uh thermal right puts out a uh, pretty good product so uh, we have purchased it, and we're going to use it in this video. I will probably do a separate video for 1151-1200, and then maybe a, an AM4 video as well. Uh, whether they'll all be on this channel or not is another story, but uh, uh, those will be out there. So, alright, well, to be honest with you... Um, Kind of want to start this from the, the very beginning, right? Um, you would have a black cover on it. And that cover would have a plastic piece that lines up with this bottom corner. Now I'm going to take the CPU out. Um, and we'll just, in a second, start from the very beginning. You can see the triangle there. We're going to pop. go ahead and pop this open. Take your time doing this. You may see me, you know, um, go rather quickly at times, but you guys just, you know, take it easy. Now your CPU, if we can see it. Now I don't have my good, either one of my good 4K uh, 60 FPS or 8K cameras. Um, so I don't know if we're going to see the print. But if you're looking at the CPU reading left to right, all right, at the very bottom is the little triangle, okay? Down here where I'm pointing with this finger, all right? So, when we put this in, if you're reading left to right, the left side should be closest to where your I.O. input outputs are, all right? So, we're just going to delicately put that in. And I'm going to actually lift this up now. This is only for video. Um, I would not suggest doing this at home. We want to make sure this thing is seated good. And so you should be able to run your hand all the way around this. And if you can, then everything is uh, going to be good there. Now I'm noticing there is a little bit of thermal paste on here. So I'm going to try and clean that up a little bit before we continue on. Thermal paste, you know, if you get it on your clothes, it can stain it. And it's a uh, pain in the butt to get out. All right, CPU is good. We're going to drop this down. If we're lucky, it'll pop off. Uh, half the time, they don't. And so, it didn't really pop that great. Now, sometimes that can be a violent reaction. I always double check. Make sure we're seated good. And now, I'm going to drop this down and hold it. Basically, put this finger here. I don't want to get pinched by this, right? But, we want to make sure that comes down. Grabbing our lever and getting it in there, all right? So now we'll rotate this 90 degrees. This thing, put it back in your box. 
All right. So, you know, I was going to say, I don't, not necessarily a teaching moment, but it's always good to understand your components, right? So I would say, folks, take a moment, put this thing together off of the, the motherboard ahead of time and get it to be like this. You're like, okay, I got this. I was able to do it uh, without the motherboard, right? Stack this whole thing together. Uh, if you can do that, you're going to be able to do the next step. Now, some of you might be afraid to do this and all that. Um, you know, if I think way back to the beginning when I did this, I might have had a little, a little bit of fear. Now, uh, maybe my only fear is, you know, how many people are going to insult my videos. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't care. Um, there's things you can do and things you can't. All right. So... One of the things you have to do, remove the tape from the bottom of this, all right? So do that. You might want to even try cleaning that up a little. It might have some sticky residue on it. And I'm taking these back apart. So these are the itty bitty, we're going to use these four itty bitty screws. And I'm also doing this so you can see all the parts that we're going to need to do the LGA 1700 assembly, all right? We're going to need this bracket and the other one, and sometimes the brackets have the actual part numbers on them, and that one does not. Um, you will need these two spacers, Okay. Those two guys, and then I'm going to pause and just disassemble this. I don't think you guys need to see that again. All right, so I've done similar ones to this, and, you know, whether I've done them right or not, it's another story, but you can read this thing. It says, install the Intel black back plate from the back of motherboard, then place plastic standoffs from front side of the motherboard, install Intel metal brackets with screws. So... The goofy thing about this, you look at the picture, and there's like little washers on here that are shown uh, to be installed um, on the back side of the motherboard. But then when you come over to this, you've got um, that part there is called a plastic pad. Those are metal, the other ones. So because of the, the goofy directions, we are going to uh, install it as shown here. Now, I'm only gonna I'm gonna disassemble this and show you um, how you would assemble it, and you're gonna have to repeat it for the other four. But uh, there are two positions in here. Um, the outside one, is LGA 1700 and the inside would be 1151 or 1200. Now, this uh, screw, uh, when it's put in here, will basically uh, fit in there and look like that. If you, if you rotate it around just right, you'll get it to fit in there. And then we put our washer in and we're good to go. All right, so you'll do that for four of these. All right, so we're ready to put this uh, underneath. Now, like I said, the instructions were a little lousy, but um, if you didn't have those blue spacers in there, uh, this, you know, there'd be a gap uh, between the bracket and the motherboard, right? But the bracket's going to sit on this piece right here regardless, so... That's what that looks like, all right? So if you're questioning the directions, the way they read, um, I hope that makes you, uh, assures you a little better. Now with these guys, you know, this feels like it has a built-in washer in here. Um, the directions don't say which way to orient this. And I'm going to say you probably want this on the motherboard. Um, you know, if this is actually metal. Yeah, that is actually metal. 
um, it's better to have that washer up against the motherboard. So we will screw these four in that direction. Now, of course, if this was not put together correctly and you did put the blue washers on this side, that would change the height of this part. Um, and that might make it impossible for you to get the CPU to um, basically almost contact the bottom of the CPU clear, right? You're going to have a a layer of thermal paste on there and that hopefully is going to fill all the gaps and make a better uh, conduit for heat transfer now I'm having a little difficulty getting this one on so of course if you get one of these that's defective which I've had before um, could be a huge pain in you know what all right so when we put the screws on here this will turn those and tighten them a little bit more hopefully so now our brackets we want to uh, orient this like so all right so that means that brackets got to be oriented like this all right now I might have just uh, shorted you guys um, on the video and if I did I apologize um, but yeah I basically I screwed these four in and we are going to put our brackets in like one here one here with that threaded post up so that this guy will sit just like that all right now who knows if what i filmed uh, or what i didn't film hopefully that made sense to you all all right so this is one of those places where i should have grabbed a magnetic Philip said, I'm using a number two here. Now this is uh, slotted, right? So um, you will find that these things, the two bra mounting brackets here, not necessarily going to be exactly parallel. Uh, what's important is this distance from this threaded post to the, the one we're going to put in that length is the most important thing so we're going to put this guy in so this is you know relatively easy install um, could it be easier yes if you just had a threaded post pop up in a plastic spacer like uh, Noctua does and your camera guy was a little better Let's try that angle. All right, so you can already tell we are slightly off here. Now I've got one side looking real good, and then this side is not looking that good. And then my finger gets in the way, and of course, it blurs. So yeah, I should have used the other one of my Samsung Ultra cell phones. But all right. Now folks, thermal paste. And we've got Arctic MX4. And I'm normally I might do something like three lines. Um I don't know how long this will actually be on here, so I'm just going to do a nice big blob. And, you know, Noctua for LGA 1151, 1200 used to say put a 4 to 5 millimeter diameter on here. But 
these guys are a lot um, there's a lot more surface area so you need more thermal paste all right now hopefully we can see this and of course it probably got a little blurry there let's see I'm trying to give you guys the best angles to make up for the bad angles so some of you probably are like, oh my god, this guy's terrible. As many videos as he's done. Alright, so I want to get a couple threads on each side. And then, you know, a couple more threads. What is this doing? Spreading the thermal paste a little more evenly. So that we tighten it down too much on one side, we'll push the thermal paste off-center. Assuming it was on, on center to begin with. Now we're just going to tighten this down. So, you know, nice little cooler, right? Um, if you had a lot of, if you have a lot of headroom over it, then, you know, 120 millimeter single tower is probably a better thing to go with. Um, but is what it is all right so now when we look at this folks we want our cold air to get basically sucked in through here across the fan and out the back right to do that our fan will need to be oriented like so all right and i'm going to loop that through now notice how the the brackets are on here, right? So I went ahead and did those ahead of time. And then we're going to drop this thing down. And hopefully they'll stay on. And so it doesn't look like it's going to go down any further. Then we'll pull these tight and into that groove, if you saw that. Then the other side which you can't see there we go so we have those in there as well now uh, on this motherboard let's drop down again there is our fan header for our CPU cooler and it does appear I could have looped this around again on there um, so we're going to go ahead and put this in four pin and this is a little tight and you want to come in 90 degrees and hopefully you haven't bent your pins but I'm having some difficulty folks I haven't even got my glasses on I'm still having difficulty Let me try a different orientation here. There we go. Okay. Shouldn't have taken that long. So that's in. And voila, there is the installation of this thing. Simple enough. I dragged it out probably a lot longer than I should have. I mean, this took 19 minutes. You can do it in 10 or less, possibly. But uh, thanks for checking out the video, folks. Hope you got something out of it. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.